Hey, what's up YouTube land? Eddie Hill, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And it's your favorite Pennsylvania reviewer. And we got ourselves a double dose dose of figures because the Figmas were a lot smaller than I expected. So we're doing two of these things. Plus some figures I haven't re gotten around to reviewing. It's the Lion King figures themselves. Let's do the Lion King figures first because they're pretty simple. You're probably wondering why I'm bringing in the bin. We're going to check out the first Lion King character and this is Simba. And so I don't have him going off the table. I'm going to put him winded up inside the bin. And he does all of that. It's going to be a while before he runs out of juice. <laughs> and he's a little wind-up toy. Do you run out of juice? And eh, maybe not. I had to put this. Sorry if I pause for a moment. Said some things whisper, and I my autism is really getting a number on me today. But that's what Simba does. He flips himself around because he's a wind-up Simba. Ain't that cute? And here we got the childhood friend of Simba. The animal childhood friend of Simba. I think her name is Kiara. If I have the name wrong, please leave me a comment. And we got Scar, the villain from The Lion King. And yes, I know who this is. He was nastier than nasty of the lions. And I dig villains. I really do. But that's all there is to say for the Lion King figures. Now we're going to get on to the anime figures. And this is May with an add-on letter from the School Fight anime and she's got some posability. Not much, but some. Her greatest posability is definitely in her legs. And I remember her from the one school fight anime. And her arms are on a hinge, which is pretty cool. Her head can move as well. It's not on a ball joint movement, but hey, it's pretty cool. And the paint is really good on this figure. They really nailed her on the spot. And here we have her rival. And yeah, really good paint on these figures. Really well sculpted. And you can get some bends out, out of the legs and some movement out of the arms. That is just cool. And these are pretty cute little Builda figures. And there are others in this wave I don't have. But I am going to try to get the others, maybe in November. But here we have the name of this, the series that these figures came from and who made them. I'm not familiar with this company. But here we have the other figures in the line. We got two of them. We're still missing three. I will try to get the other three in a set, and I'll have, like, two more of the ones I do have here. But for now, they will do as they are. And I do enjoy these. They're probably my new favorite blind bag figures. And I love blind bag figures. Well, more like blind ball figures from straight from Japan. But they are definitely going in my Figma collection. 
And that's all there is to say for this review. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out.